Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, June 9th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. A recent study showed that 11 out of 17 snake populations across several different continents dropped off sharply in a four-year period starting in the late 90s. These populations were apparently in isolated areas which points to problems such as global warming as the reason for them dropping off. And a man is recovering in a hospital tonight after being bitten by a venomous snake. Apparently the snake was found under a car. He reached down there to get the snakes. He's messed with snakes before. Maybe messed is the wrong word to use because this snake was a water moccasin. It turned around and bit him on the hand. And Ozark officials say that a woman was walking on a trail, a pretty heavily walked trail when she was bitten by a non-venomous snake. They're using this as an example that snakes are out and warning people to be careful. And for those of you that are against the Florida proposed snake ban, you have until June 11th to comment. We'll put all the contact information for you to comment on the news story on the website dailyreptilenews.com. And a mechanic was left screaming in London when he opened up the engine compartment to a van and found a four-foot black rat snake inside. They contacted the RSPCA who believed that the mechanics were playing a prank, but eventually the snake was captured. The snake is believed to be an escaped pet. The owner of the van denies any involvement in having anything to do with pet snakes and denies having himself or the van on any trips where they may have picked up the snake anytime recently. Well, that has been all your news for this Wednesday, June 9th, 2010. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White, and now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.